Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass on this beautiful feast of the Annunciation of our Lord. Next year we'll have a solemn Mass in the evening and a party in the Vicarage, I promise you. So as we call to mind Mary's faithfulness to God through the Archangel Gabriel, we think about our own discipleship, the ways in which we fail the Father and fail one another, and we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive, and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself, coming either from the depths of shale or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David, are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of my God too? The Lord himself therefore will give you a sign. It is this. The maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son, whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here, Here I, I am, am, Lord, I come, I come to, to do, do your, your will. will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Here, here I am, Lord. I, I come, come to, to do, do your will. will. In the scroll of the book it stands written, 
that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord. I, I come, come to, to do, do your, your will. will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. Here, Here I, I am, Lord. Lord. I come, come to do your will. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. Here, Here I, I am, am, Lord. I come, come to do, do your will. will. I do God cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Word was made flesh, he lived among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow, and so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this, too. Your kinswoman, Elizabeth, has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary, let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What if she had said no? What if her reply to the announcement of the archangel had not been, be it unto me according to your word, but shove off? What if she'd been too busy or too conventional or too afraid? There were a hundred ways to get out of it. It's market day. I'm not that sort of a girl. It's the wrong time of the month. For a fleeting moment, the consequences of saying yes did flash before her. The stranger saw the fear and panic in her eyes and hastened to reassure her, do not be afraid, Mary. You found favour with God. Well, God's favour is one thing, an important thing, I'm sure, and thank you very much. But I've got to go on living in this community with these particular neighbours in this one tight-knit, traditional, hard-working peasant village. I'm not sure that saying yes to you will find favour with them. And 
the shape that God's favour would take. To be the mother of God's son. The joy of a Jewish woman's heart was to be a mother. To put off the shame of virginity or sterility and join the matriarchal throng. Responsible for the continuation and nurturing of the covenant people of God. But what sour joy to be an unmarried mother in a Jewish village more degraded and ostracizing than simply being an unmarried virgin. Double, double shame in reality. So what if she had said no? No one would have blamed her. Surely, would you? In her position, we'd have done the same. And although Christian iconography has persuaded us that, that this particular woman was God's only choice, it is possible that the stranger had knocked on several doors before, before he found someone prepared to say yes. After all, God's plans have been thwarted by men and women forever even highly favourable ones. Perhaps in this, Mary, perhaps in this, in this Mary, God really was scraping the barrel, exalting the humble from their low estate. So what if she'd said no? All heaven held its breath as God's mighty plan for the redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ hung upon the yes or no of a slip of a thing from Nazareth. That, perhaps, is the most remarkable thing about this whole episode, that all the divine eggs were put in this one highly vulnerable basket. I suppose there might have been a contingency plan, but nothing can ever change the fact that God tethers himself and his good purposes for the world to the yes or no, of the beautiful creatures assembled before me that he's created in his image and likeness. All we have to do is say yes, not no. In our prayers, we pray especially for the life, work, mission and witness of the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, with its replica of the house within which Mary received the greeting from the Archangel. We pray for all members of the Society of Our Lady of Walsingham, all cells of, the, of Our Lady of Walsingham, all priest associates, and for all pilgrims. We pray for Father Kevin, the priest administrator, for the guardians, and for all priest associates of the Shrine of Our Lady. Please pray for me. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the world in which we live, that it may be a place of peace, that all division may be reconciled, that men and women 
may live celebrating each other's difference. Lord, hear us. We pray for this town of Clevedon on market day, for those whose livelihoods revolve around trading in this town. Pray for all those who are facing financial difficulty because of the coronavirus. We pray for family and friends. We pray for those in need, for Heather, Dorothy, Terence, Hannah, Julia, Jane, David, Marjorie, Anne, Tony, Jill, Julie and Margaret, for others known to us and for all those who are remembered at Shrine Prayers in the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham each day. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have died, for those whom we love but see no longer, for all whose anniversaries of death fall at this time. And we commend the living and the departed to the intercession of Our Lady as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us offer our own personal prayers and needs and intentions for this Mass to the Father in a moment of silence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever by the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she, who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We give you thanks and praise that the Virgin Mary heard with faith the message of the angel and by the power of your Holy Spirit conceived and bore the Word made flesh. From the warmth of her womb, to the stillness of the grave, he shared our life in human form. In him new light has dawned upon the world, and you have become one with us, that we may become one with you in your glorious kingdom. Therefore, 
earth unites with heaven to sing a new song of praise. We too join with angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, our patron, of apostles and martyrs and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, Exodia to Peter. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. God Most High, whose handmaid bore the Word made flesh, we thank you that in this sacrament of our redemption you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary the joyful path of obedience and so to bring forth the fruits of holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.